District 1, Saigon. I just got done with a workout. That's why I'm soaked. Very sweaty. Here, my favorite lunch, favorite juice guy spot. The Sinto Big Nah. Okay. Uh, chào an. Uh, an lấy một uh, ly rau má. Ly rau má. Rau má không, không được. Không đường, có đá không? Có đá, đúng rồi, đây đá. Uh, và một hộp súp cua. Soup cua. Soup 20, cua. 25. 25 được. 25. Okay, so got a soup cua crab soup. I think it might be one of Vietnam's most popular soups. I also got a rau ma, which is a pennyworth juice, a green juice drink. She's actually making the rau ma over here. There's the pennyworth, and then she's got the the blender and a thing of rau ma. This looks like some rau ma, I guess like waste. And then she got the full bottles here. Hello. And then he's got the, the soup kua in there. Can I see the soup kua? Okay. Okay. So we got the soup kua in there. Very much like a congee, like a kind of a porridge, kind of gelatin, but should be very good. So he asked me if I wanted the 20,000 or the 25,000 box, the whole, of soup kua, the shrimp soup, sorry, of soup kua, the crab soup. I got it. Thank you. Come on. And here it is. That's the 25,000. So they have a 20 to 25,000. The 20 would be like a medium size, like a yuh, and the 25 would be like a lun, large. You can see it's like a, like a congee. Very much gelatin consistency. Very much a gelatin consistency. There may be, ah, I don't know if, it, is that, uh, oh, is that a century egg? Okay, so I think that's a century egg. It's a duck egg and it's very dark. You can see it there. Pretty sure that's called a century egg in English. Let's try it out. Interesting. It's sort of like if an egg met a wheat. Not really though, but the, the color of it gives me a little bit of wheat, like blood cake, blood sausage. Kind of a feel, but it doesn't really taste like that. It, it also has that sort of like gelatin consistency that the soup does. I was wondering if we'd find a chumkut, and we did, a quail egg in there. Whale well, egg is good. I like that. So it's got these little sort of like shavings of crab in there. The kua. It also has little bits of um, corn and it has uh, cilantro. That's the green stuff. Mm. It's warm. I just found a little mushroom in there too. And we're finding little ingredients all over the place. It's warm, it's refreshing. It's a little bit salty, but I like that. And I, I really like the texture. There's something a little bit, when you first see it, it might look a little bit off-putting, but there's something very comforting about this texture. It eats like a chow, like a Vietnamese porridge, um, but it's got a little bit different consistency as the chow is made out of like rice, and this is more just like a, a thick crab jelly. Try some of the rau mai, the uh, 
the green drink I got. Take it out of its plastic protective bag. There's something when it's this one actually tastes pretty damn good without sugar. Usually a Raumet and needs sugar, but this one's very fresh, very tasty. Very uh, non, very delicious. And there's something really healthy feeling about drinking a Raumet. You just feel like, like you're getting those green vegetables in, like you're doing something right for your body, for your soul. Sort of the way you feel after a workout. Another quail egg. Don't mind if I do. Good. Mushrooms for texture. And a little bit of taste. This is pretty damn good. Soup on. Soup non. Really good soup. I've never had anything bad from this guy. He's like 10 for 10 on all my visits. I also just like him. I think he's a nice guy. So that's why I keep coming back here. I like his energy. I like his uh, company. Even though our communication is a bit limited because we don't really speak each other's languages. So we seem to always be smiling when we interact. Um, there's something refreshing about that. It's not always about the substance of the interaction so much as the way it makes me feel. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. So we have like an apartment in construction here. We had an apartment that's finished there. Looks like an okay building. Doesn't look spectacular, but it looks livable. Some more, um, I guess older, more traditional housing here in Saigon. View of the Batexco Tower through there. That very tall skyscraper. Not sure how well you can see it. Let me get a little better view for you. We're sitting in front of a, I guess like blanket and pillow store. Got some body pillows, some regular pillows. I might go here, get some uh, new pillows, new comforter. Crab soup, soup pua, is probably one of the most popular soups in Vietnam. If you take out like chow and like the noodle soups, like bum ba or pho, if you take those out of the question and you just talk like pure soup and what they actually call a soup, if you see the, the word there, then it's really crab soup. Like that's the, really the only one you see. And you'll see like vendors on Bui Bien Street late at night come around selling tupkua. Very popular Vietnamese soup. It's very delicious. I've got a Vietnamese lesson today at 3.30. It is 3.05 right now. And number one, Somo. Somo. There we go. <laughs> See, that's why I need to take lessons. Because I keep saying Mo. Come by. Mo. <laughs> so I need to practice my pronunciation. Um, uh, I'm from America. Yeah, Emily Me. Yeah. Need to practice my pronunciation. Um, so 
Okay. I, I'm going a little bit hard on myself just because I have kind of high expectations for how I how I do. You know, I have high expectations about how I uh, perform with whatever I'm doing. But <laughs> at the same time, I am taking it easy on myself too because I think it's important to not beat myself up too much, you know. Um, keep myself to a generally high standard, but then also accept the fact that things are going to be hard. Things are... Yeah, they're not always going to come really easily, and if I struggle, then that's just part of the process, and embrace that, and try to trust the process, and keep going. Don't get discouraged, because oftentimes I can... I can see some sort of setback or inadequacy in how I'm doing something or learning something. I can see that as like a a reason to quit doing something, and uh, that's not right. You know, it's it's better to to keep going, keep going. In Vietnamese, they have a saying: uh, "Hat hay không bang, hay hat." So, like singing really well is not. It doesn't equal singing a lot. So consistency is more important than talent. probably heard it in the audio quality and you can see the little things like this shade is uh, blowing in the wind things are blowing off my table like if I leave this here you can see it's starting to it's want it wants to move anyways it was blowing off let's um let's pay Tinting. Ba mươi lăm ngàn, ok 35,000 Việt Nam đồng Ngon, ngon quá Ở Việt Nam đâu chưa? Ở Việt Nam 6 năm rồi Vợ Việt Nam à? Chưa có vợ, nhưng mà có bạn gái rồi Có bạn gái thôi Chưa có bạn gái Cảm ơn anh. Ok, anh gặp lại. Bye. Bye bye bye. Bye anh. Bye. Alright, so, all finished xong rồi. We're gonna go back home, nhẹ nha, đi tham, cause I'm all gross and sweaty. And then I have my Vietnamese lesson, but hope you guys liked the video. If you did like it, click the like button, subscribe to the channel to support the growth, and leave any comments. Yeah, I'm really happy to hear from y'all. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.